Hi everyone, I'm recording this video today from the beautiful city of Barcelona. The weather today is a bit cloudy but I've been here for the last few days and we had a couple of very nice sunny days. Uh, I'm here in Barcelona this time because I'm attending an international conference on uh, neuromodulation and the field of neuromodulation attracts doctors from different specialties so you get people attending this conference who are neurosurgeons, pain medicine specialists, uh, psychiatrists uh, and so on. Um, the, the aim of this video is actually to discuss a new discipline in psychiatry or might, what might be seen as a new discipline and what people refer to as interventional psychiatry. In psychiatry in general, we have uh, a number of different treatments that we can offer as psychiatrists and mental health specialists. And this is usually medication or psychological therapy in the form of talking therapy. But recently, over the last maybe uh, 10 or 20 years, we started using uh, other forms of treatment that might be referred to as interventional psychiatry. Of course, before that, and in the 20s and 30s, ECT has been used, electroconvulsive therapy, and this might also be seen as interventional uh, psychiatry treatment. So interventional psychiatry mainly refers to uh, the type of treatment when psychiatrists or mental health specialists use devices in order or uh, medical devices in order to treat mental health conditions. And uh, the treatment modalities that can go and can be grouped under uh, uh, interventional psychiatry include TMS, which stands for transcranial magnetic stimulation. We also have magnetic uh, seizure, uh, seizure therapy, VNS, uh, vagal nerve stimulation, DBS, deep brain stimulation, TDCS, transcranial direct current stimulation, and so on and so on. There's a number of other treatments too that can be grouped under interventional psychiatry. Uh, uh, interventional psychiatry also it's not only one thing so some of these treatments include or involve that the patient should have an operation to fit a device in their body such as deep, deep brain stimulation or uh, vagal nerve stimulation and this is when psychiatrists would work with let's say a neurosurgeon in order to implant these devices uh, other treatments uh, under that can be grouped under interventional psychiatry are non-invasive, such as TMS. So the patient would just go and attend sessions in a clinic or in a hospital where a device is placed over their head, and this does not in include general anesthetics or sedation or any uh, uh, or anything that will intervene with the patient day-to-day -day, uh, activities. Also, under interventional psychiatry, some of the devices used, such as TDCS or TNS, trigeminal nerve stimulation, include the patient going home with a device and placing it over certain, or placing a part of the device over certain parts of their body, which is usually the head. Uh, interventional psychiatry is usually reserved for patients who don't respond to the conventional treatments such as medication or psychological therapy and I believe that over the next 10 years it will change the field of psychiatry significantly because it gives us as psychiatrists an additional tool that we can use when patients don't respond to the conventional treatments. Of course, interventional psychiatry is not for everyone, I mean in terms of patients, not everyone will uh, respond to uh, uh, one of these treatment modalities but uh, there has always been something missing in the field of psychiatry because some, pa some patients, a big actually proportion of patients would not respond to the conventional uh, treatments that we, uh, that we offer. Also the field of interventional psychiatry is attracting a lot of research and it's growing exponentially and very quickly and I believe more and more treatment modalities and even more refined protocols will be used over the next few uh, years. Uh, this gets us to the point that uh, psychiatrists and uh, um, uh, junior doctors being trained in psychiatry need to be uh, aware and we need to develop treat, uh, training programs in order for them to be up to date with the new developments in the field of interventional psychiatry and so that they can start offering these treatments when appropriate to their patients. Thank you. Thank you very much for listening and watching this, this video. Thank you.